and welcome to this tutorial. Like you can see, there's an update available for Joomla 3.41. I'm currently on 3.40 and I'm going to try to click on update now. I'm going to click to install the update. And like you can see, I cannot install it via the backend of Joomla. But there's another way to upgrade your Joomla installation. To do that, you first have to go to the Joomla website and download the update from Joomla 3.4 or the full package. If you use the full package, you have to delete the installation folder for it to work correctly. I'm now going to try the update, ver update version. I'm, I'm opening FileZilla. This is an FTP program. And like you can see, I'm already in the HTTP docs or root folder in which my Joomla installation is located. I'm now going to the download folder. This is the download folder. And I found the update stable pets packets that I've already unzipped in my download folder. I'm going to click on this directory and I'm going to select all by clicking Ctrl A and then I click the right mouse, mouse button and I click on upload. It's a, it asks me if I want to overwrite something. I'm selecting to use this action always. I'm clicking on OK. It's now uploading everything. Now I've all it now has installed all the files. Now I'm going to the actual website back end. I'm clicking on refresh. I'm now going to extensions, extension managers. I'm going to click on database here. And it says it doesn't match the CMS version. I'm having to click on fix because if I install the files in the file manager, it doesn't update my database. So I need to fix the database in the backend of Joomla. I click on fix and I have to wait. And now it's fixed. Now I'm going to log out and log back in to see if I can see any error pages. I first have to click on system information. Now as you can see it's 3.41 stable. And I'm having to click on log out. And like you can see, I, I come back to an administrator, administrator screen. I can click on log in again and I'm back in. So I'm, I'm going to look at the actual page if there are no errors there. This is the actual website.
Everything seems to be fine. looks good and now I'm happy to show you the other my other website lady looks because I need to upgrade lady looks as well and I'm going to show you that not every not every website gives problems like it's not able to upgrade from the back end this side will upgrade from the back end it did so before. So I'm going to system. It's, it's, it says update now. I'm going to click on update now. And I'm going to click on install the update. Like you can see, it really has updated my website very fast. If it's updating from the back end, you don't have to fix the database because it's installing the files and the database from the back end. Now I'm going to log out. There is an admin screen. This is good news. This is working. And I'm going to see the front end. The front end looks fine too. So Lady Lux is also upgraded. This is how you upgrade all your websites. You either use the back end. To, to upgrade or you upgrade with the use of the file manager the file scylla and then you fix the database i hope you like this tutorial and i hope you will be back to my channel soon